All right, I did a project, I don't know, about a year ago. It's called Autumn Windows. Uh, spotlighted some maple leaves inside a, a birchwood bowl. And I thought I'd take another swing at it with a bit of a twist. I was uh, messing around with some big bark chunks. I think they're redwood bark, um, you know, just landscaping stuff. And I thought, man, that'd be cool in a bowl. They got the neatest patterns on them when you polish them up. So that's what led to this project. Uh, before I get going too far, um, if you're a fan of wood turning and you've ever watched Kim Tippin's stuff, which is remarkable, um, there was a project she did for us for Operation Underground Railroad at, at Art for OUR. Um, without us even asking, she did a whole episode on her project, and then she spent a good while amount of time talking about the problem of child trafficking. Uh, we She donated the bull, and we sold it on her behalf. We raised several hundred dollars uh, that was donated to Operation Underground Railroad. Anyway, she was super generous, and she volunteered. We didn't even ask her to do it. And she has fallen on some pretty rough times recently. Uh, there's a if you go to her channel, uh, Kim Tippin Wood Turning, um, she has a little video that it kind of explains what she's going through. Um, anyway, we put together a GoFundMe. I'll put the link in the video. If you go to GoFundMe.com and search Tim Kippen, T I M K I, I'm sorry, I can't talk. <laughs> Kim Tippin, K I M T I P P I N. Uh, it, you'll see it's done under my name. That way you know you're not getting scammed or something. Uh, we've raised, at the time I've recorded this, almost $7,000, which is remarkable. Uh, the wood turning community is a fantastic bunch of people and very generous. And they realize what a great person she is, what she's offered to the wood turning community, uh, especially on YouTube. And uh, I think we're all in agreement we wanted to pay back a little bit of what she'd done and help her out so go make a small donation big donation whatever that'd be awesome so I've, I've got a battle going here between Illuminite, Illuminite's Deep Pour Epoxy and Total Boat uh, Total Boat has sponsored me and sometimes I, go, I do so many projects that I run out of resin so uh, I've been trying the Illuminite just to see what it's like and uh, they're both pretty awesome. They both take several days to set up. They have a very, very low exothermic reaction. Very, they, they, they set up very in a cool temperature. They don't create a lot of internal heat. So they don't boil whatever it is you're trying to, to work with. Um, they don't get so hot that they crack or bubble. Um, and they set so slowly that if there are bubbles or cracks in your wood, you know, it's several days, and by the time that time has passed, uh, the bubbles have, have come out, the resin soaked in, and it really gets into the deep cracks of the wood. So I've liked them both. I haven't done enough of both to be 100% sure, but I will say so far that the total boat has been much easier to turn. It was like butter. Um, and it was clearer. If you look at my last project with the, uh, the wasp nest, um, it was almost perfectly clear and the Illumilite, I don't know if it's Illumilite or all the stuff I've got in this bowl, <laughs> it was pretty, pretty complex surfaces here. Um, you can see a lot of swirls. Now it's not bubbles and uh, it's just the texture of the resin. And you, you saw me mix up my resin. I spent a good long while with a power drill uh, turn or uh, mixing it. So. You can tell when you're mixing resin, you get these little threads that kind of go by, and you can tell that the part A and the part B hasn't completely mixed. And I always mix mine well past the point of seeing that. So, I don't know, I guess that's just the nature of it. We'll keep comparing and see which one comes out on top. But right now I'm gonna give Total Boats Fathom Deep Pour of the Win. Of course that sounds biased because they're sponsoring me, but truthfully, if I had to pick one right now, that's the one I'd pick. But you can't go wrong with Lubalite either if you've got your hands on it. Um, 
early on there I prepped these leaves with um, just a clear varnish you can see there in the video one thing I'm realizing that I did on my first project that I didn't do on this one is I did a whole bunch of layers and the reason I did that back then is because I kept cooking my leaves the resin would set so hot that it would turn out like ugly brown um, and I forgot that's what I did but one benefit of that was so many layers made the leaves a lot stronger and stiffer so on this project I just did a couple of coats and you know I don't have a ton of time to work on my project so I just move things along and when I put the leaves in there and then dumped my resin in there um, I saw them start to droop immediately <laughs> if talk about freaking out you know all this time spent but um, I kind of looked around in, in the thing and propped a few things up with little wood chips and it turned out to be okay but you'll notice at the very end I one of the leaves broke and another one of them was um, uh, what happened to it it's it bent enough that when I turned it the uh, I cut the end of the leaf off so not the end of the world could have been better but um, you know maybe if I just stuck with the same kind of project all the time I'd get good at it <laughs> I, I like trying new stuff so whatever to getting clear resin was to find resin that sets over a long period of time several days at a very low temperature that meaning it doesn't create its own heat um, plus using a pressure pot at room temperature I had to figure out how to put that in my house, snake the hose under the door, and put it in our mud room. Um, and that was it. Uh, before, I used to think it was the moisture in the wood and all this different stuff. But honestly, so far, it's it's been the temperature, the depth of the pour, and using a pressure pot. Uh, I didn't show this little segment, but I did put this resin on a vibrating table for uh, like 10, 15 minutes to see if that would help with bubbles and it didn't do squat so for my open pores I got to go back to the back to the drawing board and see if I can improve the, the resin bubble thing uh, this bowl will be sold on art for OUR 100% of the profits go to Operation Underground Railroad uh, helping fight child sex trafficking around the world which is a massive problem um, so do something awesome today go to art for OUR and make a donation make a purchase and give us a hand money goes to a great place um, if you're interested in what operation underground railroad does google them uh, it's ourrescue.org ourrescue.org find out all, all about what they do which is an amazing thing so have a good one we'll see you on the next project